Yo, what's up guys, Rolby here and today I'm going to show you everything what is going on with Ethereum, Solana, Avax and every single ecosystem in crypto right now because this is current trend and you need to learn about it. So I highly suggest you that you watch this video fully because things which I'm gonna try to teach you over here are gonna probably stay with you a long time and if you want to survive in crypto you probably want to know some stuff. So first thing which I want to speak about is Solana and AVAX and what happened over here. Basically we have small bull run and Bitcoin went 65% in last three months which is absolutely insane which means Ethereum got a lot of volume as well and if you know on Ethereum chain fees for swapping are extremely extremely high. So some other layer one crypto like Solana started to gain a lot of volume as well like you can see over here and basically what that did is that Solana Solana started to go insane. As you can see over here last year Solana went from $11 to $109 currently and it seems that is not gonna stop. So what I think about this is of course I like it, I want some layer 1 to be competition to Ethereum because what is happening then both of those chains or any, any other ecosystem they want to try to compete as well and they gonna give us better product so huge impact on all of this also have bonk and bonk absolutely went insane i don't think that something like this happened ever so basically it went to like 3 billion market cap in such a short amount of time of course right now it got listed on binance and coinbase which means there is a pullback those are extremely huge news and and a lot of people were using sell the news. So for example, if you remember what Pepe did back in the May, you know that they went insane, best crypto in such a short amount of time. In one month, they went to 1.6 billion market cap. And as soon as they got listed on Binance, that was sell the news and basically it fully crushed. So this will definitely take some time so for some kind of like correction. And if you want to support me, go subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get 4,000 subscribers before new year. But what else happened over here with Solana, Bonk and why this whole ecosystem is growing is that now this got so much attention and now a lot of scams are going on over there and this is where most of you are losing most of money. So now I'm going to show you what is exactly happening over here and how you can actually benefit from all of this what is happening instead of just losing money. Because let's be honest if you're watching this video you're probably watching other YouTubers and influencers in Spain which probably means that you are just exit liquidity. So like I said biggest ecosystem owners are probably Solana and Avax. You can see that both of them also went in last three months like 4x. With this huge market caps this is like insane. So reason why both of those chains have such a huge volume and at the end what is bringing this price to skyrocket is that transaction fee is extremely extremely cheap and this is a new trend which means a lot of influencers are a lot of devs basically jump in those chains and they're trying to milk as much as possible from this new wave of people which are coming over here because they see that everyone is speaking about Solana and ecosystem they see that they are speaking about Avax and ecosystem and what they are doing over here they're just creating meme after meme and if you go over here and you check some names you will basically see that there is nothing going on instead of memes. so there are no real projects I will explain you why as well so this over here here is Avax. You can see some names are like pretty weird because this is like small niche trend. And over here on Sol is the same thing. You basically have only memes. You can see even like Pepe and that's the other thing. Like on those new chains they are basically recreating every single meme. You have Bob which is going insane. Over here they have Bob on Avax, Bob on Sol. You have Wojak, they have Wojak on both chains, multiple of those. So everything on those chains right now is just create a meme. You don't even need to be cre creative. You just copy every single meme from Ethereum chain and then you just basically buy half of supply. You give that supply to influencers and they will basically pump your project. As soon as they're out with every single token which they own, they basically basically just stop with the project, they block the telegram and they just all jump to another token and they do same thing. So that's the main reason why 
price is skyrocketing because every single one of those tokens are using main native token to buy liquidity to buy the tokens every single guy who is over here is gonna pay with na native token as well to buy that meme and every single time when they create some meme and they fully ab abandon that, that project they will be like 1000 to 1000 holders which will actually always like hold those tokens because it's actually not even worth to sell because price is so much down of course there is a lot of factors there is trend as well but what I'm trying to say over here to you is that you probably don't want to go over there and play with those those means because you are going to lose your money of course if you know when to exit you can make some money but in the end if you don't have connection and you're not early you will basically stay in this token which is fully dead and you will basically be exit liquidity all the people which are over there early you have to understand that this is team and influencers as soon they exit they will not share it anymore and they will basically jump to another project so then I said how you can actually make some money out of this and if you don't want to risk as well you probably just want to buy a native token like Solana Avax and for example you basically just need to follow volume so you have some really nice layer one layer twos and for example Ethereum you already know about it there is not a lot to be made it has huge volume it has really nice price then you have Solana which is already up a lot and then you have Avax which is up a lot so probably what you want to do you want to find some some chain which will probably go viral as well with this trend for example over here you have BNB it has decent volume so this is actually really low volume for BNB but market cap is pretty high already so profit over here to be made is extremely extremely hard to make so what you probably want to do you probably want to find something else but have really nice volume for example Arbitrum Arbitrum ecosystem is up with native token in the last three months on like 67 percent you can see that volume is insane in 856 million in 24 hours and when we go over here i mean also what we probably want to say as well this market cap is actually i don't agree that this is the price because they do have a lot of vested tokens they do have like treasury tokens as well so their actual market cap is way higher so don't get baited on it if i'm looking to make 2x from all of these tokens then i would probably like even though like i said market cap is way higher than it's actually showing i would probably look into arbitron because ecosystem like you can see is growing it still didn't take off and market cap is lower than those which i showed you so if you go over here you can see that they almost like didn't go in like last month or since like november maybe like 40 percent so i know it's not a lot of money but it's way safer thing to do so for example just to show you how this is usually going on over here on my twitter account please go over here and follow me because i want some more of interactions so basically over here last token which i tweeted about is Hemul token and what I was tweeting over here about is how they are trying to trick everyone and this is actually not something especially new this is usually something what is extremely extremely common thing but over here we can actually learn about this so this is the token which I'm speaking about and if I take first 24 hours of this token over here you can see that this token in, since it launched it had 26 million volume just to tell you this is absolutely insane and this what happened over here blows my mind because people don't want to do research and people are getting destroyed by influencers of course this is not first token like i said every single token is doing it especially on those new chains because there is like absolute huge trend right now you can just recreate like i said every single meme token and do this over and over so it has 26 million volume and today i'm going to show you exactly why so time when i tweeted this was the December 19 in 2 a.m. and if you go over here and I show you where is this that's that's probably like summer over here so I saw that there is huge volume which is absolutely crazy I wanted to research this token maybe even buy into it because volume speaks a lot so when I go over there and I check what is going on I saw that like in first 10 wallets there was so many wallets which were holding same amount of supply of course I went over there I check who those wallets are and there is like so many wallets which bought with banana gun with maestro and so and so on and when something is already so 
high up with such a huge volume I think it was like 10 to 20 million market cap and uh, this was just way too suspicious so when I did my research I realized that like same people are holding all of those wallets and when I researched like all those wallets up to first 30 I saw that the, all those wallets at the start were holding 1.5% and that they all are basically same people which are holding it and over here I even tweeted more about it so I found one picture on the internet one single guy just tweeted about it before me which is absolutely insane that people don't want to do basic research and there was like even more volume like this and the thing is every single influencer in space was tweeting how this is the next trend, how this is going to be huge. And now I will show you why they were tweeting about it. So like I said, all of those wallets seems to be connected and I'm only like assuming this because it's way too obvious. Later I will show you why I think that I'm correct as well. So they still have a lot of wallets which are holding insane amount of money still. So this one holding 1.5%. You can see that they were created only to buy into this token and nothing else. Then over here we have one wallet which burned supply and I will explain you about this wallet as well because this wallet which actually burned the tokens, this, this was only wallet and this wallet is helping us a lot in this what I'm gonna try to explain you. Then we have another wallet which is holding huge amount of supply. He like you can see over here transferred some tokens away so it's not so obvious that it's holding 1.5% supply like every single other wallet and this over here he still didn't sold. Another wallet still holding a lot of supply. Then another wallet which is holding huge amounts of supply. Then over here we have wallet which send the tokens to someone and then burn some and those I will explain as well. Then another wallet which fully sold everything like you can see over here. Then another wallet which was selling a bit but still holding 1.4%. Another wallet which is selling a lot. Then another wallet which is selling a lot. Then another wallet which send a lot to another wallet and we can check those two. This one is still holding and this one over here like you can see he fully sold everything then another wallet which is selling and still holding then another wallet which sent a lot of tokens to some random wallets some of them like you can see over here they actually sold and exactly this is reason why all of you are exit liquidity and why influencers are shilling this so much so what i think of course this is not correct and this is only my assumption is that team actually bought huge amounts of supply at lunch for extremely cheap price so like I said 1.5% and if you see over here with watch the, they bought they bought with Maestro and all this bag costed only $400 to buy so what they made with that huge amount of supply of course some of them they sold for themselves some of them they sent to some huge influencers some of them they sent it to some smaller ones and in one day if you send a lot of supply to a lot of influencers what you're gonna do you're gonna create such a huge hype that this over here in first day will have over 25 million of volume this is not only wallet there are like I said like 35 wallets which are doing exactly the same thing so I don't want to waste your time but like you have to trust me I mean there is no reason for me to lie for example there is another one and this is exactly what is happening in every single chain as soon all these wallets which are still holding th th those like huge supply of tokens as soon they all sell and as soon team does not held any supply left they will just switch to another project and there will be like 3,000 of you holders who are still holding this and who still think that this random meme with no utility that this will take off and that this will make like billions so now of course because I just don't want you to think that I'm just like padding random project I just want to show you some proofs which team actually gave away and no one is speaking about this but this is so obvious so they bought a lot of wallets and then over here if we actually go to their pinned messages so this is their actual telegram like official telegram and if we go to their messages you can see if we go a bit up you can see that this guy who is owner and developer he sent one percent to dima.e so this is vitalik buterin's father and he burned 5% of total supply. So if you want to go over here and track this wallet, you can see that wallet which send money to dima.eth and burn 
tokens, like 0.5 of total supply, you can see that this wallet is the wallet which bought exact amount supply of supply which were another 30 wallets which were holding and he also bought it with Maestro. So over here we can exactly see they confirmed that they were using like same strategy, they were using Maestro to buy huge amount of supply for extremely cheap with same block. So this is like common thing. Don't think that this is something what is happening once in crypto. This is like common thing and every single dev is doing this. And then even if this is not enough for you, we can go like even higher. Over here, that same guy who is owner is saying because Vitalik acknowledging blah, blah, that this token is part of Buttering family, they are going to burn 1.5% of total supply. If we go over here and check his own transaction, you can see that this is the wallet which I showed you, which bought supply extremely early and he burn those tokens. If you go over here, we can see that he was using Maestro and so and so on. And over here, he's even saying one of top wallets is mine. Of course, it's not one, it's 30. I'll be burning a lot of it and sending to that wallet a 10 million market cap. I have not sold one single dollar and not planning sell selling any. And he was proving that. So he knows that this basically is his own community and no matter what other people say, even if there are some people which are saying that he is lying, he will just ban them. So he can lie as much as he wants because all the people which are over here in Telegram, firstly, they are not doing any single type of research because they bought into it. Will there was so many of top wallets which were sniping for such a cheap price. And those people also do understand that they are right now in loss and if they go and they say wrong things about this token, it's just gonna like make their position go even lower and lower. So they're pretty, pretty trapped. Also, what a lot of those people which didn't research needed to know is that this is Vitalik.eth address. And if we copy his address and we bring it over here to Etherscan to their contract and we check on his address, you can see that uh, actually devs of those tokens send it 2% of total supply to Vitalik and that was like a uh, biggest wallet which were holding and what Vitalik did he just went over here and he sold it. If you go over here you can see exactly where he sold of course he probably didn't know that he received those tokens at all and here you can see that he actually made around like $40,000 just like that just because they decide to send him tokens just to use his name as biggest wallet and then why I think that this was really bad and those devs you need to understand they do understand what Vitalik is doing with tokens which random project are sending to him and Vitalik even said please do not send me any tokens be because he's going to sell so three months ago I made full video on uh, how much money Vitalik actually made only by people and devs sending him tokens and over here at the end I uh, we actually can see more about it and uh, if you want I made it like three months ago it's called how the dumbest crypto devs made this guy rich and here you can see that he was making like insane amount of money this was all in 2021 and you can see like as dog he made three hundred two thousand dollar profit Husky, $900,000 profit, Dodge, Elon, Akita, both of those tokens he made over $4 million just by clicking sell. And you don't even want to know how much money he made out of Shiba. So if you see some team sending money, huge amount of supply or liquidity to Vitalik, you need to calculate that Vitalik is going to sell those tokens. So if you want to support me, go check my Patreon and big thanks to these guys over here because they are directly support my videos. Like you saw on Etherscan, they even send the tokens to his father and he actually sold all of those tokens. He got $20,000 for it and he donated that money to Ukraine. And of course, now we are coming to something why other chains are also growing a lot. So because of this, because Vitalik and his father are selling those uh, tokens which they got for free, a lot of influencers actually started to attack them. So for example, over here, we have something for Caesar. He has 20, he has 25,000 followers. And the uh, thing which he said is, you are a moron. How about to do some research before throwing the word scam and killing the project, you idiot. And then he was comparing this to some project on base, on Avax. And then over here, they're actually starting to uh, argue a lot. And that's why, please go to my Twitter account, is Drollby Games, and follow me. Because when I tweet something like this, I really want like more 
people to see this because then they're gonna call me idiot as well and I really need this because I do need some drama in my life and then my channels are gonna grow faster but what then Caesar make which is extremely funny for me so he tried to use this to get even more exposure. So he said over here, Vitalik Dead is saying that Hamul was clean swap and that this is audited from father of Ethereum. And then he is thanking him for supporting and basically he do understand that this is like full lie. He's just, just like fully trolling. And then what happened next, Dima comes here and say, the key point that Vitalik's dad or me is saying is that Hamul is clearly a scam coin. So why Caesar even said all of this is because this guy over here, which was muted, he told him that he should be extremely careful what he's approving on Etherscan because you can get your wallet drained if you receive some random tokens. And then he over here said that this was simple clean swap, basically that there was nothing wrong in the contract. So then we are coming to my last thing, which I need to say why I went like showing you all of this because on Solana we have Bonk and there is like so much push going on with Bonk because they do understand if Bonk is going crazy, Solana ecosystem is gonna go crazy as well. So millionaires on this chain and developers on this chain, they want Bonk to go to crazy numbers. Then we have Avax and we, we saw Avax Foundation investing actually money into some of their, their memes because they do understand that memes bring so much new eyes on this chain and so much new eyes is gonna transfer money on it. So they want to directly support it and then Ethereum over here with what like recently is happening. Of course, Vitalik and his dad, they don't care about money and uh, influencers are basically going after them because they do not support those memes. But to be completely honest, Ethereum does not need something like that. Recently we have Pepe, which basically go mainstream and no matter what, Ethereum it will always be here. Real Solana, Avalanche, you need to understand those just went trend and there is no real project over there. Every single good developer, they are actually building on Ethereum and currently, we have only memes, we have only copy paste, we have those telegram bots which basically they are just trying to recreate everything from Ethereum. But as soon next bear market com come, you need to understand all the money is gonna go on those two or even with like stablecoin as well. So all liquidity is gonna be here. Like I said, once again, I really want Solana, another L1 to survive. And just to be competition to Ethereum, I really want them to be here for such a long time. For now, you need to understand that, that no big and real utility projects are built over here. We're gonna probably see them in this next bull run, but this is like one year from here.